All right, so I received a question based on my DreamHost um, domain registration. The person was asking whether or not it was simple to add the hosting to their domain they registered. Because um, they're going back and forth with, I guess, another agency like GoDaddy or something like that for their domain. So when you register with DreamHost, your DNS and, and your name servers are already set up for you. It is a simple, just a couple of clicks to get hosting set up for you as well. So here we have nanotuts.com, which is what you saw me register in the previous video. And this is under the hosted domains. I have several other uh, domains here that I've grayed out because they're irrelevant to this particular YouTube channel. We're going to go to add hosting. If you go to add WordPress, it takes you through um, a bunch of nonsense. I, I wouldn't even do that uh, because you can always add WordPress as a one click install with DreamHost. So we're going to go ahead and go to add hosting. Give it a second. Here's your credentials. You want to make sure that this is the correct domain. If you have more than one, you're going to select a user um, for your um, access. This is important because you can have multiple users accessing different domains. I like to have one central user that will be able to access all of my domain names. So that way when I log in via FTP if necessary, they're all there. I don't have to try and remember usernames and passwords and all that good stuff. I'm going to use the recommended PHP service. All right, So they're at 8.1 at the time of this video. And as you can see, they have multiples. They usually have the one that's ahead as well. Um, that's probably still in beta. And they also have a couple of versions behind. But always go with the recommended. And always stay with the fast CGI. All right. You can enable extra web security. You can read more information about what that is. Um, basically, we'll go ahead and click that. Just to give you a quick example. And that's the mod security. All right, and so that's a web application firewall uh, for spam attacks and, and injection attacks for the uh, databases. Go ahead and leave that on. I have not had any issues with leaving this on with the exception of a couple of forum softwares like Zenforum. Um, they required mod security in order to be able to update their PHP script in the admin panel. But you can always come back and turn this off at a later date. So go ahead and leave it on for now, because if you're doing WordPress, um, you won't run into any issues that I'm aware of having this on. It's just good to have. So you'll go ahead and do a fully host this domain. It'll set it up for you. All right, so down here you can see nanotouch.com has been hosted. I'm using a shared hosting service, which is the least expensive. If it was dedicated, it would say dedicated hosting here. All right, and as a and as you can see over here, it is not secure. My domain is not secure. You can secure it very easily. It, once you do this, you will not have to worry about it ever again. So we're going to go ahead and click on HTTPS. And just so you know, most browsers, most modern browsers, will not accept plain HTTP anymore without giving you some sort of error or alert or trying to redirect to a secure form of that uh, website. So let's go ahead and click on HTTPS. All right. So as you can see, DreamHost will automatically give you the option to buy a business um, SSL certificate, or you can do the free one. Um, and you can read about this and do your own research on what you need or what you want, or you can import one if you've got already got one. This is the one I use every time. It gives me what I need, no problems. So I'm going to select this. And that's literally all you have to do. All right. So it says order processing. It literally takes 10 minutes, maybe at max. And you can adjust the settings and everything, but you don't really have to. So now we will go back to our hosted domains. All right. And this will update, and you'll get an email once this has been secure. But other than that, you are ready to go.
Now the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to, you know, either upload your website, your HTML website to, through FTP, which you can do here, or you can use FileZilla or whatever FTP program you have, or you can now go to your WordPress, do a one-click install, and you're good to go. All right, so I hope you learned something, and please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more quick tutorials just like this one. All right, on to the next.